Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So back in A Time as Children last year we learnt all about A Time as Child and how the Doctor had had far more lives than we previously thought. Now I'm not going to get into whether or not that was a good idea as that's something which deserves its own video. But I thought it might be interesting to give my own personal take on what these pre hotmore Doctors might have looked like and what they might have gotten up to. So here is my take on the early life of the Doctor, starting from the Time as Child's first incarnation all the way to the last pre hartnell Doctor. Please try to remember that this is just a bit of fun. If you don't like the Timeless Child as a concept or as an idea, then that is completely fine. So without further ado, let's get on with it. 1. The First Timeless Child The first ever incarnation of the individual that would go on to become the Doctor, this young girl was rescued from Tectian from a planet on the far edge of a galaxy, with a boundary that could cross over to another dimension or universe. This incarnation then travelled with Tectaeon across the universe for a time before they returned to Gallifrey. After falling off a cliff after a fight with another child, the timeless child regenerated for the very first time. This is also the first ever regeneration on Gallifrey. She regenerated into... 2. The Second Timeless Child The second incarnation of the timeless child was the first one to be experimented on by Tectaeon. Tectaeon wanted to find out the secret of regeneration and so conducted countless experiments on her adopted child. This lasted for several of the child's regenerations. 3 to 6. The third to the sixth Timeless Children. The other incarnations of the Timeless Child that Tectaeon experimented on. 7. The seventh Timeless Child, aka the First Division Doctor. The seventh Timeless Child was the last incarnation to be experimented on by Tectaeon. Once she'd worked out how regeneration worked, Tectaeon tested it out on herself, regenerating into a new male incarnation. Then Tectaeon went on to supposedly become one of the founding fathers of Gallifrey, along with Rassilon and Omega. The race of Shabogans became the Time Lords, with the capital being built. Time travel was also later developed thanks to Omega using stellar manipulation via the hand of Omega on a star, turning it into a supernova which became the Eye of Harmony. Meanwhile, the Timeless Child enlisted to serve the Division, and supposedly became the first incarnation to go by the name of the Doctor. Not much other information is known about this incarnation or many of his successors as of the time of writing, which is the 1st of March 2021. Additional information may be revealed in the upcoming Series 13, however. If that is the case, then this video will be updated once that series has finished. Anyway, let's now move on to... 8 to 15. Seconds to the ninth Division Doctors, aka the Morbius Doctors. The Doctors' appearance changed frequently over time as they worked for the Division on many different missions. These Doctors were the ones first seen during the mind-bending contest between the Fourth Doctor and Morbius in the brain of Morbius. I recently got the unofficial charity on anthology book called Forgotten Lives by Obverse Books. It features some excellent cover art by Paul Hanley depicting these very Doctors. I haven't got round to reading it yet, but I can't wait to do so. According to the novel Cold Fusion, the Doctor was raised on Gallifrey from a family of explorers. His father was part of the Supreme Council. The Fifth Division Doctor, aka the Philip Hinchcliffe Doctor or the Fourth Morbius Doctor, ultimately fell in love with a woman called Patience, who was Omega's widowed wife. The Doctor then embarked on an expedition to the Time Vortex, he was one of the first to explore it with a prototype time machine called simply the Machine. He then came back and married Patience and the two of them had 13 children together. He also supposedly used the same TARDIS that his later incarnations would use. At some point he regenerated into his next incarnation, the 6th Division Doctor, aka the Douglas Camfield Doctor or the 5th Morbius Doctor. This Doctor then became part of the Supreme Council himself, like his father. At this time, his firstborn son was a cardinal and a Time Lord of the first rank, whose wife was about to give birth to his and, Patience, and Patience's first grandchild. But since only the Loomborn were allowed to inherit the legacy of Rassilon, the Lord President sent Chancellor guards to seize the family and terminate the pregnancy. They culled Patience's 13 children, and the Doctor was accused of consorting with aliens. The Doctor tried to save his family, but it was too late by then. According to the Infinity Doctor's novel, the Doctor remained on the Supreme Council afterwards but was in a state of mourning and grief for a considerable length of time. The First Doctor, aka the William Hartnell Doctor, then apparently rescued Patience and their granddaughter Susan from the Purge. He 
He placed patients in the machine for her own safety and assured her that their granddaughter would be taken away from Gallifrey. Meanwhile, in an alternate universe, according again to the Infinity Doctors, after Patience was widowed by Omega, she became the Doctor's tutor, just like she had been his grandfather's and father's tutor as well. The two of them still ended up falling in love with each other, however. Also, the 7th Division Doctor, aka the Graham Harper Doctor, or 6th Morbius Doctor, may have worked as an adjudicator for the Earth Empire in the late 25th century, going by the identity of Martin Jurgens. Whether you choose to accept all of this as canon or not is entirely up to you. Personally, whilst I find it all very interesting, I'm not sure if I would accept it as canon or not. Anyway, now we move on to the Doctors that I've fancasted. Here they are. Fancast Doctors, Part 1. 16 to 27. The 10th to the 21st Division Doctors. The 10th Division Doctor, Ron Moody. The 11th Division Doctor, Gene Wilder. The 12th Division Doctor, Alice Gridge. The 13th Division Doctor, Martin Freeman. The 14th Division Doctor, Catherine Kelly. The 15th Division Doctor, Jeremy Brett. The 16th Division Doctor, Peter Cushing. The 17th Division Doctor, Christopher Lee. The 18th Division Doctor, Brian Blessed. The 19th Division Doctor, David Bowie. The 20th Division Doctor, Vincent Price. The 21st Division Doctor, Roger Moore. There isn't much to say about these Doctors beyond the fact that they continue to work for the Division on various missions. Next up we have the second batch of my fanca Fancast Doctors. Fancast Doctors, Part 2. 28 to 33. The 22nd to 26th Division Doctors. The 22nd Division Doctor, Sean Pertwee. The 23rd Division Doctor, Patterson Joseph. The 24th Division Doctor, Jacqueline Pierce. The 25th Division Doctor, Keeley Hawes. The 26th Division Doctor, Jody Comer. These Doctors also continued to work for the Division. If you watched my last video then you may recognise some of the names in this section as some of my picks for the 14th Doctor. Then we come to Joe Martin's Doctor. 34. The 27th Division Doctor, aka the Fugitive or Roof Doctor. The 27th Division Doctor, or rather the Joe Martin Doctor, regenerated from her predecessor in currently unknown circumstances. For a time, this Doctor continues to work for the Division. She did try to flee from them on at least one occasion, but quickly learnt, but quickly learnt that escape would not be easy after she failed. While working for the Division, the Doctor became, became acquainted with a fellow Time Lord called Gat. After successfully escaping this time, the Doctor stole a gun from Gat and fled to Earth in her TARDIS. She then used a chameleon arch to disguise herself as a, hu as a human called Ruth Clayton. Her companion assumes the name of Lee Clayton and posed as her husband, acting as her protector in case of any trouble. The two of them then took up residence in Gloucester, with Ruth living as a self-employed tour guide. She believed herself to be 43 years old and remembered being brought up by her parents in a disused lighthouse. On Ruth's supposed 44th birthday, the Jadoon, under contract with the Division, came to Gloucester for the Doctor. With the help of the 13th Doctor, Lee distracted the Jadoon long enough for Ruth and the others to escape. Lee then came face to face with Gat, who ultimately executed him. Before he died, however, Lee sent a cryptic te text message to Ruth. This briefly reawakened her true Time Lord self just long enough for her to defend herself against the, against the Jadoon. This escalated the Jadoon's hostility and caused the 13th Doctor to ask about Ruth's true identity. With Ruth's memories beginning to unexpectedly resurface, she and the 13th Doctor went to the lighthouse where she, she had supposedly been brought up. Ruth then shattered the biodata module with a push of a button and her true self as a Doctor was restored. The Doctor then took her future incarnation inside her TARDIS. The 13th Doctor told her of herself who she was and the Fugitive Doctor said that the 13th Doctor must be in her future, as she didn't remember being her. The 13th Doctor countered this by, say by saying that she didn't remember being her, as in the Fugitive Doctor, either. This confused the two Doctors. Before they could figure out what was going on, however, the Fugitive Doctor's TARDIS was captured by the Jadoon and transported to their ship. 
The two doctors then worked together to confront Gat and the Jadun. The fugitive doctor gave Gat's rifle back to her, having sabotaged it so that it would backfire on its user. The fugitive doctor tried to convince Gat not to use it, but she did so anyway, with the gun killing her in the process. The fugitive doctor then retrieved the weapon and fixed it, with the 13th doctor being horrified at her past self's actions. She then threatens the Jadoom of it and pointed out that now that they were in interstellar space, crime wasn't defined, so they had no jurisdiction. The Jadoon ultimately let the two of them leave, and the two doctors went their separate ways, but not before the fugitive doctor noted to her future self that they couldn't both be right about each other's place in their shared chronology. Sometime later on in her life, the fugitive or 27th Division Doctor revisited Gloucester. She met a man called George in a cat home, and the two of them chatted a while. This was shown in the short story called The Tourist, featured in the Adventures in Lockdown anthology book. A projection of this Doctor later appeared to the 13th Doctor when she was trapped in the Matrix by the Master. Feeling distraught and confused after the timeless child had been revealed to her by the Master, the 13th Doctor was reminded by this projection that she had never been limited by who she was before, telling her that the universe needed her too much for her to be tired. She helped the 13th Doctor a little with hinting at something that Ashad had said about the Death Particle, before then telling her to return the favour of the Matrix, blowing her mind. She then disappeared. I do have a fan theory about where the Fugitive Doctor could fit in the overall pre-Hartnell Doctor timeline, but I'll explain that in a future video and update this timeline accordingly then. Anyway, the 27th Division Doctor eventually regenerated into a successor in currently unknown circumstances. And we now come to the third and final part of my Fancast Doctors. Fancast Doctors, Part 3, 35 to 41, the 28th to the 34th Division Doctors. The 28th Division Doctor, Gemma Chang. The 29th Division Doctor, Chuitel Edge Yofa. The 30th Division Doctor, David Harewood. The 31st Division Doctor, Richard E. Grant. The 32nd Division Doctor, Tania Miller. The 33rd Division Doctor, Bill Nye. The 34th Division Doctor, Jeffrey Bailden. Not much is known about most of these Doctors. They must have continued working for the Division at some point though, due to the Doctor eventually retiring from them at some point. According to the Brendan story, at some point, Brendan, or rather the Doctor, was given a clock as a memento. He was then thanked for his service and had his memory wiped. The Doctor was then regressed back into a child with the by, no by now normal 13 regenerations applied to their biology, instead of their previ previous infinite number of regenerations. This child then went on to become the first Doctor, as portrayed by William Hartnell. And as the Master himself put it, The rest, as they say, is history. But anyway, so let's now show the timeline on its own.
Anyway, so, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button below as well as press the bell icon at the side so you'll be notified of when all my new videos come out. This channel currently has 210 subscribers as of the time of writing this video. But if we're able to get to 250 by the end of the year then I will rank every single TV story from 1963 to the present. Also, please rate, comment below and let me know who your picks for the pre Hartnell Doctors would be and what you think of my own choices. Any feedback, positive or constructive criticism is greatly welcome. And if you want to binge watch all of my videos so far, then there is a link to a playlist of all of them in the description box below. So, until next time, bye bye!